Sir, we could start present now. Yeah, one moment. We're gonna we're gonna live right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in shut up first, right? All right. All right. So we're live now. Um, we're back here for our second presentation. Um, second round of presentations. So we're doing chapter three today, which is managing the environment and an organization's culture. And so we have the group artists set. They're ready to go. Um, we're, we're again we're broadcasting live on YouTube. Um, also, for the individuals that are jumping on to the video conference, um, we have more students coming on right now as we speak. Um, we're also live. So, for the people that are unable to view this um, broadcast today, then you can then view it afterwards, right? So, I have the group presenting their particular presentation today. So, we'll begin now. Um, I'm going to give it time right now. So, I, I'm going to mute my mic now. And then it's time for the group to kind of take over now. Right, so I have the person doing introduction go ahead and begin, and then the rest of people then you follow afterwards. All right, sir. So that you are that you are doing the introduction first, then then you right? Yeah, so my, yeah, the introduction is finished, so you guys can you guys can begin now. Okay. Okay. All right. So good afternoon, sir, and good afternoon, everybody. Um, today, my group members and I will be presenting on Chapter 3, which is the Managing the External Environment and the Organization's Culture. Um, my name is Ye Jansun, and my fellow group members can introduce themselves. Yep, that's the, um, so basically that's our, um, Objective for today, and my rest is my colleagues. Um, I'm gonna go um introduce myself now. Hello, guys. Are you listening? Um, yes, yes afternoon, afternoon, class. Um, uh, my, my name, name is Patricia, Patricia, and today we will do chapter, chapter three. three. Others, Others can introduce, introduce their self too. too. Justin, we wait for you, Justin. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my, my name is Justin. Justin. Uh, my name is Justin. Uh, And um, sir, by the way, um, Zeline, um, um, she she mentioned to you that she won't be able to um attend the the presentation or something like that. I I don't know if she may tell you. All right. Um. Yeah. So, yeah, are you guys hearing me? Hello. Yes, sir. We're here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. She didn't make mention about it, but don't worry about it. Just continue, right? Just do your thing, and you guys can get the grade, all right? Okay, sir. All right. So, you guys, want, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. Uh, the objective for today will be um. Yes, we have actually covered. Of the, and, and the symbolic viewage is described in the environment, the characteristics and importance of organization and culture, and lastly, the structural issues in organizational culture. So, basically, those are the four um, objectives that we will be looking at today, and we begin with objective number one, which we just need to begin with. Yeah. 
Next slide, sir. Um, we'll be looking at the omnipotent view and the symbolic view of management. Well, according to the omnipotent view, managers are directly responsible for an organization's success or failure. So um, this is straight to the point where, where it says that managers are responsible for the success or failure of an organization. When organizations perform poorly, someone must be held accountable. According to the omnipotent view, that someone is the manager. So like I said, the, the omnipotent view um, argues that the manager is, is the manager responsibility that that the um, organization is succeeding or or is failing. This is. Uh, so I guess that's it for the um, objective number one, which is conscious, and we go to objective number two, which so will be again. Um, hold on. Let me just I'm here a little bit of back. Hold on. I'm just gonna mute everybody. I'm getting a little bit of feedback, right? So I'm just gonna mute everyone that you can on here, Mike. Um, for the interpret where Tila said that is talking, all right? Let me just um mute everyone. Right? I'm just gonna mute everyone, and then you unmute your mic, all right? That's just, just just feedback. All right, all right. So um yeah, like I mentioned earlier, you 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 can just unmute your mic now and continue. All right. All right, go ahead. You can the mic and continue. One string. Not done. Managing Your mouth is too close to the mic. Fire feedback, Mary. Put your mouth a little bit away from the mic. Okay. All right. Let's continue. So let's try it again. Let's just put your mouth a little bit away from the mic. All right. Yeah. We're, we're hearing that clear. So let's continue. So I have a little issue. Um, I have a little issues there with your connection. Um, can we just, I think what you need to do is take off app and put on back. Let me just mute you. One mute. Um, 
mute everyone. Yeah, um, what's happening is that I think the app is glitching for you, right? So you have great service. I'm seeing that from the um, your bar that you have. So maybe you just have to close it and put it turn on again, right? And it should work. It work better for you, all right? So you, maybe you can just try that for me real quick. Um, and then we were, we were able to continue um because they are hearing a lot of feedback and it's glitching so that's usually the case you just have to kind of re do a re um restart right and that, that's it that should solve the problem okay um but mean meantime in between time um so yeah maybe you can yeah i'm seeing you you're, you have great service now right so let's try it again here retailer Hello? Hello? Group? Group tree? Let's go. Sir, yes. um, this is just a photo. Yes, that's it. Uh, um, my signal went down just now, sir. Sorry about that. Oh, no problem. Um, now I was telling you sometimes the um, the the uh, app glitches in some in some cases, right? Right. So um, um, what happens with with the presentation right now? We're just asking Rutila, right, to just kind of come out and then log in again. It's supposed to work better. Um, we can always come back to, uh, as I'm asking you to do a quick check. Because from my screen here, I can see that you guys have good, you guys have good connection, right? So the internet is not issue right now in this case, right? So you guys have good, fairly good bars, right? The connection is good, right? So um, if you want to continue um, with the presentation, um, Rutila, if you want, what you can do um, is just exit the app, turn it on again, or exit, that's going to restart, and you'll be okay. Uh, we're just going to kind of move on to the next person. We'll come back to you after a while, right? Who's going to be next presenting? Sir, we have presenting The what? Sir. Um. Can I, can I continue? Yeah, we can continue. We're gonna continue. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to our presenter afterwards, because, um, right? We're gonna I'm come back. That signal goes off again. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's go. Um, tell me which slide are you moving on to? This one? Uh, 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 Objective three, sir. Okay, perfect. Let's go, group. Yes. Constraints and challenges. Firstly, organizational. Okay, just pause real quick. Um, again, remember, please turn off your mic if you're not talking. That's our getting the feedback. That's the reason why I'm just gonna mute everyone real quick. And then the, uh, just uh, let's just have the presenter that's talking have their mic on, all right? So everybody's mute, uh, muted, and I'll have, just have the presenter mic on turned on now, and we're good to go. Okay, organizational culture. It is the shared values, principles, traditions, and gifts. Doing, doing things, things that influence the way organizational members act and distinguish the organization from other organizations. True cultures implies the culture is perception, is descriptive, and cheap. An, an example of organizational culture is Adobe. It offers perks like discounted membership and tuition, reimbursement, plus paid sabbatical and subsidies for computers. They even receive patents for their idea, ideas and awarding. This makes the employees to stay on one organization to improve on their job. Next slide, sir. 
There are seven dimensions in pop culture and organizational culture. These include employees expected to exhibit precision and non-precision. Welcome orientation managers focuses on results or outcomes rather than on how these outcomes are achieved. Thirdly, people, orientation, management decisions that take into the effects on people in their organization. For this, it is important to treat employees with respect and dignity. Fourthly, team orientation work is organized around teams rather than individuals. They have a positive relationship with their co-workers and managers. Aggressiveness, employees are active and competitive rather than cooperative. Stability in these type of companies typically provide consistent and predictable levels of output for wage best in non-charging market conditions. Innovation and risk-taking employees are encouraged to be innovative. Next slide. And strong cultures, cultures in, in those, those in which key values are deeply held and, and widely, widely shared have, have a stronger influence on employees, employees and weaker cultures. cultures. Next slide. Here. Where cultures come, come from, from and how it comes. It comes, it comes from, from organization, founder, vision and mission, past practices, management behaviors, socialization, which is the process that helps employees adapt to the organization's culture. Next slide. How do employees learn culture? They learn through stories. Narratives, narratives of significant or people, people example, organization founders, rule breaking, reaction to past mistakes. Another, Another one is ritual sequence of activities, activities that express and reinforce the important values and goals of the organization. Also, material art symbols, kinds of behavior are expected, example, risk taking. Lastly, how does culture affect managers? Whatever managerial actions the organization recognizes as proper or improper on its behalf, whatever organizational activities the organization values and encourages, also the overall strength or weakness of the organization, organizational culture. That's, that's the end. So basically, that's um, objective, objective number, number three. three. Um, uh, objective number three. Would have presented, but unfortunately, she is not available. Uh, so I guess I will just um, um, do, do her part. Her part. Uh, culture issues in a organization culture. Four, four current, current culture issues managers here. Manage uh, 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 and 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 Type of job, environment, wide spread use of empowerment, role of clarity, 
employee you are consistent in desire to please customers. customers. So that's, that's basically, basically what, what I respond customer response for the work would look like. like or, Yes, sir. This is the point number three. Organization.
and that they have been developing in Hong Kong. And for technology, there are changes that are occurring in technology, especially with communication and transportation. They could create new products so that this is their way is how they are affected. And overall, the way this is work, the expectations are about influence improvement. Most organizational factors are affected by changing this in the external environment, which is Job and employment is the most one. The work environment affects how the employees and how the employee is in the organization or do the task. And also work because not only the number of jobs are affected, but also jobs are managed. They Another factor which includes the environment that answers the TMQ, which is the conditions that are constantly changing within a business environment. For example, when economic collapse impacts the company, so company needs to be prepared for any change yes, that might occur again, which is not expected. And also, and the stakeholders, impact on stakeholders includes their decisions and actions as they did. But if stakeholders have a good relationship, the relationship will increase uh, and the trust among stakeholders will also increase. That is my part. All right, I check one. All right, guys. Um, I like the fact that you guys had examples in your presentation. Um, we did the objectives again. Thank you, sir, for doing that section there for the person that was absent again. Right, so. We applaud you for that. Um, what we want to do now then, um, I want to kind of go through uh, just a quick summary like we mentioned earlier, um, based on your particular section, right? Um, that you presented on. Again, we're just gonna, it's just gonna, it's gonna be a synopsis of everything that you did. You're not gonna summarize the entire presentation, just your particular part. All right, that's all I'm gonna be asking. Are you guys, uh, is it clear? No? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, good. So um, I'm just going to go by the order of the um, Excel sheet that I sent out, right? So we want to start off by with, um, we're looking right at the top. We want to move on. We want to start with um, Patricia. So she, we want to just go through this particular list, right? For the, and I know Ms. Chun isn't here, right? So Patricia, you're up. Yes, sir. To summarize the, um, the seven dimensions of culture are attention to detail, outcome orientation, people orientation, team orientation, aggressiveness, stability, innovation, undertaking. The, the stronger the culture, the greater the impact on the ways managers plan, organize, lead, and control. The original source of the organizational culture reflects the founder's vision, and also culture is transmitted through stories, rituals, material symbols, and language. All right, perfect. Short and sweet, right? Straight to the point, right? Um, we want to get express on this list here. Um, let's move on, next person. Ija? Yes, sir. So I was responsible to gather all the information and create a support. As we, um, actually, there were six of us in the um, group, but I guess one, um, one, of, one of them, them was a section two, I believe. So um, 
there are um, five, five of us, us and, and I was the one, one responsible, responsible to create the PowerPoint, PowerPoint and the rest, the rest had their, their own objectives. So, so um, we agreed upon, upon that, that and, and unfortunately, unfortunately Zelene wasn't here, so I read her part. part so, so basically, basically that's all what I did for the presentation, sir. All right, thank you, sir. Um, let's move on to the next person on the list. Uh, okay, Zelene is absent, right? So she's in here. Absent. Alright, absent. Um, Julia, Julia did not contact you guys for this particular presentation at all? Yes, sir. I believe she's, she's the one, one that is in section two. two Alright, she's in section two. Alright. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Uh, Justin. As, as the, the rest of the group members and the yeah, she's in, but she has the option, right? She has the option because she she could have been switched over. All right, um, Justin. Sure. Um. Well, my one was basically the opening with them. Opening What's the first view? Um. Opening with them view and the symbol view. So, so basically, the omnipotent view is, is where um, the manager, manager has the responsibility for um, is responsible for the organization's success or failure. While um, symbolic view um, argues that that it is not the um, is not the um, Responsible for the money. It's not the um, manager's responsibility. Responsibility if the um, organization is failing or succeeding. It's the um, external external force, which are like customers, competitors' action, governmental policies, customers. Those are all outside the manager's control. So, so that's, that's basically the summary of those two views management. Thank you, sir. Get to the point. Um, all right, so we close off with Rutila. Let's get your um, the serial summary there. All right. Thank you, sir. So over. My summary is on the constraints and challenges these managers are facing in today's external environment. The external constraints include those factors and forces outside organization the environment that affect its performance. The main components of the external environment are economic, demographical, political, and legal, social culture, technological, and global conditions. And these components can constrain and challenge managers because they have an impact on the jobs and employment, the environment, mental uncertainty, and stakeholders' relationships. That's basically my summary. All right. Thank you, Rudy. Good job. All right. Um, again, I want to applaud the group for doing this presentation under the circumstances. You all were here, you logged in early, right? You're prepared. Um, you hit all the objectives. It was good. It was going to your point again. Um, and then we can of the examples you're using. Um, Rutila used some good examples with our current um, COVID-19 um, situation right now in our country, right? So I was good using those local examples. Right? So we talked about external environment and some of the factors. And I'm going to mention some of them when I create my series of videos um, in the future, um, which is going to talk about some factors that are beyond our control. Right? We don't have control over the external environment. Right? And it affects us how, us, how we manage, and also how we do business. All right? And we also talked a little bit about organizational culture. Um, and we talked about um, how organizations, you know, are able to carry out their particular objectives, their goal objectives. Right, so again, you touch all your core objectives. That was good. I like how you kind of organize them. Right, it was objective one, objective two. That's good. That's a good. That's being creative, right? Um, and I want to thank you all for completing all those objectives. Right. 
So again, again, group. Any for before we continue, um, for the are other people in the class, do you guys have any any questions for the group? Everybody clear? Is it all clear? Group. Um, again, I want to applaud you all for your effort. Right, you all did excellent. Um, and again, thank you. All right. So, we have any questions, group? Any questions? Is everything was it's all good. Yes, sir. We're good. All right. Excellent. All right, guys. Again, thank you for your presentation. This is broadcast live, and we're gonna post it up for the individuals that are not online at the moment. Right. What I want you to do right now, I want you to go into the chat feature, and I want you to write present number two. So I can then um, record that you are present for this last part of the presentation. Present two, that's right, present two, and I have your time there and everything, so I need to reward you guys for being in these presentations with extra points, all right? So present two, all right? Um, yeah, just keep doing that present two in the, in the chat so I can then record this attendance, all right? Um, our next presentation is going to be on Tuesday and we'll have chapter six, right? Um, so you have chapter six. You guys are presenting on Tuesday. I think Teron, Teron is online right now, right? Teron is online. Um, Teron already sent me that PowerPoint. Um, I'll ask that you send me a PowerPoint. Um, if you have any changes to that PowerPoint, Teron, um, I want you to send me that PowerPoint um, or um, G, uh, uh, Mr. Maran is on right now, right? He's there. So I want you to send me that PowerPoint with the final group listing names, right? So you're able to then, I can just have that draft up already if any, any changes have occurred, all right? So again, thank you again, group. Worked well, software worked well. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys again on looking at Tuesday, one o'clock for you guys to present. Remember, we're almost finished with the presentations, guys almost finished right um as soon as we're finished then i activate afterwards okay so again um the time right now 148 we did well 48 minutes right um and i'll see you guys next class all right so hope you all enjoy the rest of the day okay so that's it guys